Hello citizens and welcome to Cece's World. This is my very first tutorial and the reason I'm doing it is because a friend of mine asked, how, asked me how to put music into her videos. And so I decided to do a video about it. Um, I'm sure there's better ones out there, but this one here is gonna be, I think, more helpful from the point of a person who's new to YouTube and new to video editing. So I hope it's helpful and enjoy. To find music that you want to download in order to use in your videos, you're going to want to go to my channel within YouTube after you've logged in. Once you've clicked into my channel, you're going to want to click here to Video Manager. When Video Manager opens, you'll get all of the Video Manager options. My computer is running a little slow. I think that'll be good for training purposes. Once you're in Video Manager, under Creator Studio, you're going to see a number of options that are open to you. For our purposes, we're going to scroll down to Create. Under Create, you're going to get options for your audio library. Here you're going to see Free Music, Add Support Music, and sound effects. Under free music is going to be the music that you can utilize for your videos that are royalty free, meaning that you can use them for your videos that you have monetized and you don't have to pay for the use of. Once you click your free music you'll see a number of options open to you. These are types of music that you'll find. Featured are the most used music. Under genre, you'll find options of different styles of music. Under mood, you'll see types of moods that your video may have that you'd want to apply music to. Instrument is just as you see here. Duration is time period if you want something under 30 seconds, if you want music pieces that are longer, you will see here if I click five, mi five minutes, it's going to select for me all the music available that's longer than five minutes. And of course favorites are going to be common music that you hear a lot on YouTube. Keith being one of my personal favorites. What you want to do is click download. This will then allow you to place the music into a folder. Okay. Once you click download, you'll get the option to either open the music and play, where it will play in your music player, or you can click save, save as, and it will open up your file manager to allow you to save it where you'd like. In my file manager, and probably yours as well, you'll have under libraries the option of music and then you'll have folders that you've created. You can create a new folder to organize. I have one already made, Music for YouTube. Under Music for YouTube, I've also created other folders, Chill Beats, Epic Beats, Jazz, and these are my most used music selections. And once you go in there, you simply hit your save button and it will save that song in there. Now, since I've already have the song, it's telling me that I can either replace it or hit no um, so that I won't have a double copy of this particular song. I'm going to hit cancel. So once again, you'll go to your video manager under channel. At the bottom here, you'll go to Create Audio. It will give you your listing of all your music, how long it is, who is the creator of the music, and what style the music is in. Now, once you've gotten all your music downloaded, in the instance of using a movie maker, I'm going to add a movie that's in my files, a video, 
and I'll show you here how to put your how to put music into your video. In the My Movie Maker program, I have here my video that I've already added to the selection via the Add Videos and Photo button. Here under Add Music, you have the option. You'll click the down arrow and it'll allow you to choose from Free Music Archives, which leads you to the internet, these options here, or to choose music from your PC, add music from PC is here. You can just add music, but my favorite feature is the add music at current point, where I have clicked in my video where I want my music to come in. So in this case, I want my music at the beginning of my video. So that's where I have put my marker here for the music to insert. So I'll go add music, add music at current point. I will select a nice chill beat to go with this walking scene and I'm going to choose new land. I'll click open. As you can see, the music has been added in and you'll see it here under the film. It's taking over the entire piece of music, the entire film. Now I'm going to hit play. You'll see the video play here and we'll hear the music that's going along with it that I've chosen. Okay, now let's learn a couple more options. Under music options, the first button is our volume button. This will either lower the sound so that the movie sound is louder than the music sound, or you can make the music sound the loudest. So sometimes when you're watching videos and you hear all of a sudden the music blast, <laughs> that's because they've made the sound very loud at that particular point. The fade in fade out is when the music starts slowly into your music or exits out softly. So these are the options for that fading in music or fading out your music. And you have to make sure you're under the music options otherwise your fade in fade out will happen to your video audio sound not your music audio options. If you want your music to stop at a certain point, say I just want the first half of this video to have music, I can set my end point here and that will stop the music here. Or if I want my music to start here, I can click there and hit set music here and it will start here. Now, if I want to change my music at a certain point, I can click at that certain point, hit set end point here, I can go back home, I must choose add music at current point, and choose another song. Let's choose Tuscan Tees. Click open, and then the new song goes here. Now to tell whether or not there's a space of music, that light green that you saw means that no music sound has loaded yet or the music hasn't started yet. When you see the dark green that lets you know the different pitches that you do have sound at that point. So back to what I originally was saying, we've changed our music so I'm going to put my start point right here. I'm going to hit play so that you can hear the two different types of music.
So those are some elementary options concerning inserting music, splitting music, changing your music, setting your start point and end point, and your volume as well as your fade in and fade out. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments or send me a personal message and I will help you out whichever way I can. Now most softwares have these options for adding music so you'll just have to find it in the software that you've chosen but they are intuitive um, as far as how the basics work